Hi, welcome back to Faith Blooms. Today I'm going to talk to you about the armor of God and how the armor of God is how we need to be living every day. Um, the armor of God is in Ephesians 6, starting at verse, um, let's start at verse 12. For our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the power, against the world forces of the darkness and the spiritual forces of the wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up your whole, your full armor of God, for that you may be able to resist the, in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, you stand therefore having girded your loins with truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all taking up the shield of faith in which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming missiles or arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And number 18, here's the main one that we're going to concentrate on today. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in spirit and with the view of being alert and with and all perseverance and petition for all the saints. So I just wanted to show you um, what I did to kind of remind myself to uh, keep praying, don't let go. So how can we how can we live like that how can we um live by with the armor of god well if we open up our bibles every day and we um give thanks for what he's done for us prayer what does prayer mean prayer to me means praising him thanking him for what he's done for waking you up for you know whatever having a great cup of coffee whatever but it's also talking to him and talk and today was um in my um devotional it was a great way to think of it so it says right here um it says i encourage you to talk to god about absolutely everything you can you can tell him how you feel how you desire what you desire what your goals are tell him that you love what you love about him and what you, about your life and express your gratitude for all the things he has done for you you can tell God about the things in your life that you don't like and that are hard for you and or are hard for you tell him what you've done wrong and talk to him about all about your concerns for yourself your life and your family and loved ones tell God absolutely everything he's never shocked He's never been shocked. He's not going to be shocked if you say, you know, I have this deep down desire to whatever. He's not going to be shocked. He already knows it. He's he's done, set that up, and you're, you're already mapped out by Jesus. And so, I, it says to pray at all times. And every occasion, and on every occasion. So, whether you are celebrating a new day, you are celebrating, you know, JoJo's birthday or whoever's, you have to, you should pray to him. You should pray deep down prayer. It's not a prayer of, dear Lord, thank you for this day and hope that my prayer is done before the two minutes. Prayer takes time. You want a relationship with God? You need to use that time wisely. Give up a little bit of your TV. Give up your favorite, you know, comedian, whatever it is. It says if it's not, um, I'm trying to think of the wording. Whatever is good and holy, you should meditate on it. And whatever is not, you should dismiss it from your body, from the things that are not needed with Jesus. Like, I don't need to watch TV. I need to grow deeper with God. We all watch TV because it's something to do when we're bored. But think about how much more you could be learning with God 
not with me, but with God, because you didn't turn on your TV th tomorrow morning and you spent 25 minutes, 30 minutes in Bible time. Um, my my Bible time has really changed in the last couple years. Uh, I thought as being a mom and stuff, I didn't have time to study the Bible. Well, now I have to say that over the last couple years, that's changed greatly. But what's really changed for me is um, I desire to do that. I desire to talk to God about what's going on in my life. I desire to say, hey, God, you know that thing that just happened? I don't like it. Could you help me fix it? You, you have to be willing to have that relationship. You have to be willing to, you know, search relentlessly for him. Because if you don't search, nobody else is going to search for you. And when he calls and he comes from that cloud on that day of judgment, you can't say, okay, well, maybe I got my life together. you got to know that you got your life together. And so I just don't want you to be left behind. I don't want you to be... Saying, oh, I wish I would have listened. I don't want to be that way either. I don't want to say, well, maybe I'll, I'll make it. I want to know. I want to feel his presence in my life daily. I want to live by his word. And I want his words to live in my heart. Something I recently started was, for one reason, because it's totally cute. But this little mini happy notes thought, hmm, maybe I'll do something with these sometime. Had it for a while. Let's see. So here's what I decided to do with it. I need to put Bible verses on my heart. I need to find somewhere that I could sit there and meditate on them every day. Well, guess what? I am. Romans 16 verse 20 says, And the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Another one of my favorites is 2 Corinthians 6, um, I think it's 8 through 17. Therefore come out from their midst and be separated, says the Lord, and do not touch what is unclean. Those are things that we need to seriously talk about. We need to seriously think about. Uh, Luke 1 37 says uh, chapter 1 verse 37 says for no words from will ever fail God um, Colossians 3 28 says whatever you do work at it with all your heart as you work for the Lord so you know if you're not working for God and you're not working to uh, please him your life's not going to be happy. Uh, Proverbs 31, verse 27 through 28 says, She watches over her affairs of her household and does not eat bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also to be, also, and he praised her. So those are just a few that I picked that I really liked. There will be more in that book. And, you know, if you'd like for me to do uh, a flip through of my prayer um, planner, I can. Here's my pl prayer planner. And all I do is I have my prayers in there. Some words of wisdom. Like, here's just the opening of it. Um, let's go to my date here today. And there's some weeks that are better than others. Here was um, last week. So it's a Bible verse of the day. Um, some Bible verses have questions like um, this one for Sunday. It says John um, 11, 25 through 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrected resurrection and the life the one who believes in me will live even through though they die and whoever lives by believing in me will never die and then it asks do you believe that 
Well, yes, I do believe that because I, I don't want to be left on this earth. I want to be in heaven someday. I want to sit at his foot and be able to sing and praise his name. So this is this week's and it's just plain and Jane. It's nothing fancy. You can just write out your Bible verse, your prayers here. Um, something, things I pray about sometimes. Um, more prayers over here. Sometimes I don't put all my prayers in one spot because um, I just want it to be something for me. So um, one of the things that we were talking about at church this week is this is the day that the Lord has made. We are to rejoice and be glad. If we're not rejoicing in the name of Jesus, what were we put on here for? What What's the plan? I mean, why would we sit there and be gloomy and, you know, if you're gloomy, you're not right go with God. I mean, you can be, you can be you. Be who you really are because God already knows who you really are. All he wants you to do is come to him and say, you know, God, Father, Abba, Messiah, I need you. I want you in my life, and I want you to teach me more about you. It's as simple as that. You choose today. Are you living for Jesus, or are you living for yourself? Remember, pray without ceasing, and be watchful, because he's coming back soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.